it's emotionally uh, exhausting. But we walked past the neighbor's house and um, they had a chicken pen and you could see all the chickens were not, they, they didn't make it. And I mean, that to me, it's just the animals, the life, the livestock and people that, that didn't have uh, the plan to keep their things safe because there was no time, right? You know, we didn't have days, we had minutes, so there was no time. No, it's very devastating. It's like a... Like a bomb went off. When we came back on yesterday morning, it was so surreal. And we had no idea the house was still there. So when we drove up and saw the house, we were kind of like, oh my God, this is a miracle. Um, and then, but just looking at everything else. So then we walked up the street, none of the neighbors were left. Um, the lady across the road here, gone. All these people's things were gone. I mean, it was just like, Pure devastation. The goals here are to uh, get out in front of the fire, get people out of the way of the head fire. Where we can engage and do structure protection, we do safely. But with this er erratic fire behavior, um, you're seeing a lot more of this tragedy here. It's unbelievable. So, Why do you like 